Hi, good. Welcome to the episode on enemy number one, which is corrosion. And you can see here we have a highly corroded U joint that is involved in our steering system. And I'm going to walk you through what this means, how I've disassembled it, and the next steps in the process. Okay, you can see this is a 1997 Hallberg Rossi 46, and you can obviously see corrosion on the system that we have here. Also, the mounting bracket that's attaching to the aft part of our engine cockpit. This was not caught in our survey from just an early May this year. It obviously has us concerned, so let's talk about what we're looking at here. Okay, as a reminder, this is an engine cockpit for a Hallberg Razi. While it is well engineered, it is also a little small and cramped. So getting the pictures is a bit of a challenge. But this is based on, the steering system is based on a Lumar design with torsion rod and bevel head. So what that means is you have a helm wheel that turns a shaft connected to a bevel head, which is really an input and output type of design. So there's an input shaft coming from the helm, which then turns a U-joint connected to the top of the bevel head. And then that bevel head turns through gearing, turns an output shaft that leads all the way out to the rudder. And again, all these connections are made with U-joints. And on the on the front side of the bevel head is the autopilot, which is also connected in to the imp output shaft via the gearing. So this is the actual Lumar design, and this is the unit that is, as you can see, quite rusty. Removal of the autopilot is pretty simple. It's literally two bolts that attach to the front face of the bevel head. That was probably the easiest part of this process. Now that the autopilot is not installed any longer, I have free access, quote unquote, free access to the rest of the bevel head, the U-joints, and the connecting bracket. This is going to be a lot of fun because there are a lot of hoses in the way. So I've got to remove a few things and um, let's see how this goes. And I'll show you on the next video, part of the video, what this looks like at the end of it. All right, all right, here is the bevel head that we took off tonight. Um, oh, there's my five horse, five and a half horsepower for my dive air compressor that I've just rebuilt. And well, bolt-ons are replaced, but not rebuilt the engine, but we're ready to go. And uh, just rebuilding the base for that at another shop. So here is the uh, bevel head, but look at the uh, input shaft. U joint, that's in good shape. Both sides go, it's just rusted and I'll replace that as you can see. And this one's a little more interesting, the output shaft. Check this out. It is completely rusted through, right? And we've been having some steering things. It's just not been as smooth as I would have liked, but you can see this U joint bends fine in this direction, but I can't get it to bend. It doesn't bend in this direction. So it's seized up and only turns in one direction. So that would explain a lot of why we were having some steering issues. At least that we noticed as we were sailing with this and trying to um, maneuver. Now, I'm wondering if that also had some, put some unnecessary stress on our autopilot uh, as well. So 
we shall see. That is what we're working on now. I'm excited to do that and get that project done and ready to go for the spring, spring launch. Okay, take care. Thank you for watching the Skyward channel. We're loving doing these videos, just having a little bit of fun, trying to show what it's like to work on a boat of this, uh, of this size and of this magnitude. And they really are built strong and built very, very heavy duty. And uh, we're just trying to maintain this boat, keep it in good working order so it can keep us safe while we're out on the ocean. Take, take care and...